And I believe it's in this building. I didn't do a real good job recording this. This is the building that you're looking for. It's called the Sunken Sarlacc Cantina. I kind of got turned around a little bit in here. What you actually want to do is go in towards the middle of the cantina and face east. Uh, on your map you'll see a yellow icon that is the elevator and you can see me waiting on it right here so I can go all the way up top. And once you get up top there's a lore object up there. I'll go ahead and let Scully finish it out from here. Thanks for watching guys. And there it is, right there. So I'll go ahead and show that on the map. And it's going to be right in that area right there. There we go. So I'll show that on the map. And the easiest way to get here is if you can pilot down to this speeder right here. Just walk along that path. And you'll come to this building. Sorry for the brief interruption. This portion of the video was for a Datacron run, but after going back and looking through the edit, uh, I realized we got a little bit more than just a Datacron in here, so I wanted to make sure that I get this pointed out in the video. The first terminal that you're going to see me click on is just a quest terminal, so this right here is nothing to worry about. The second terminal you're going to see me click on is where I pick up a codex entry, and I was unaware of it when I was making the video. And right there is the codex entry for the Balmoran Resistance Organization. And again, I'm sorry I didn't catch that in the Let's Play, but thank goodness for editing. And I'll go ahead and let Scully finish out the Let's Play. Thanks for watching, guys. That took some work. And we just need a few more kills. So I'll tell you what, I'll go ahead and advertise. Hopefully somebody can help us out. And then uh, we'll go get that Datacron. If not, like I said, then I will find somebody off camera and show you guys as soon as they uh, help us out. This particular Datacron requires two people to be able to access. So I sped up the video just a little bit while we were advertising in chat and doing a little bit of combat. So here in a minute I'll take you upstairs and show you how to get the Datacron while we wait for somebody else to come by and help us out. I'll let Scully handle it from here. Thanks guys. And this is where you do it. And nobody responded in chat so I'm not sure. Ready to knock these guys out? So what you have to do is you have to come over here to the shield control. And this is where you would have to have somebody else hitting this shield control at the exact same time. And then that door would open up. I'll see if I can get it to, but I don't think so. Yeah, just not. I'm not even fast enough. Not even to get it open for a second. What happens is one of them deactivates one side and the other de deactivates the other portion of the shield and the datacron is actually right there and once you get inside of course this red for force field activates again and the way to get out is that button right there so that's how that works and like I said I will try to get that uh, off screen and bring you guys back in when somebody can actually help us out with that for those that want to skip ahead to our next floor object it would be about the five minute mark I went ahead and leave leave this part in. Somebody actually goes up and helps us get the Datacron. I want to say thank you very much, Alexa, for helping us out. And I'll go ahead and slow down the video so that you guys can actually see me getting the Datacron as soon as I get on the elevator. And we'll go ahead and let Scully take it from here. I have a good one, guys. There he is. Come on. Nice. All right. So as soon as he hits that button, I need to be hitting this one. Okay, I got in, but I'm going to hit this button to make sure that he gets in. Okay, he got in. Sweet. We both get the Datacron.
So I'll open up the map. And the big map right here, there's Sorbrick, the main town where the uh, spaceport is right there. So just take that speeder all the way down to here. And then you'll see this map right here. And the lore is somewhere right over in this area. So we'll go ahead and head that way. Just uh, go up this ramp. You don't have to. You can go around if you want, but this is the, a straight route there. And it better be here. Oh, nice. Look at that. I actually remembered something. This one, this one gave me a hard time. I had to look this one up on, uh, I think I had to look it up twice on, uh, when I was originally doing my playthroughs. Let me go ahead and show that on the map. So you want to come off of this speeder, take your main road all the way down to the, uh, what is this place it's called? The Okara Droid Factory. When you come inside, let me do that again. So the outside map, right here, the Okara, Okara Droid Factory is right there. Forget this map for right this second you'll come to this map. You're going to come down, take this elevator right here, and that will bring you to this map, and it drops you off right here at the elevator. Just work your way all the way down through here, cross these beams right here, and you'll be staring at it right over there. Pardon the interruption. If you Let's found those maps confusing, stay tuned. This next clip is about a five minute clip. I did a lot better job explaining on how to get here. As a matter of fact, I actually walk you all the way from the outside to the inside. And I'm not able to actually click on that in the next clip because I already got it. But I show you where it's at as well as the datacron that's down below. So with that being said, I'll return you back to the gameplay. Enjoy guys. There's the Balmoran Corporations. Alright, so like I was saying, here's the uh, spaceport. Just take the speeder down to, this, down to this speeder. Follow the road all the way over here. This is the Okara Droid Factory. There's a quick map, and our destination is right here. And while the elevator's coming up, we were right here, came all the way in, and again, here's the elevator that we're waiting on right now. Now, I would have cut out already and did like a, a speed run from what I've already done so far but we did get an achievement down there so I want to leave that in and here's what the map looks like now All right. the lore object was right over here we'll go take another look at that but like I said I've already got it and then the uh, datacron is somewhere in this area Chris always does the trick What a waste of a bleed. And right there, that terminal right there, that's the Balmoran Corporations. That's what you need.
So on the map that would be right about there. Anyways, back to what we were doing, getting the datacron. Now I, I remember where it's at. I need to jump off. Is that door right there? Here's the map of where we're at, right here. Came from this platform, just jump down. There's a little doorway here, and I'll probably end up failing it. It's extremely hard to see. At least uh, for me. I want to hit this pipe, hit that pipe, and then you can see it right there. And I think I'll take off sprint because I usually end up failing this pretty bad. And I am walking backward without sprint. Let's see if I can just jump. It won't let me. Sometimes you can just kind of jump off the edge of it. There we go. Yeah, I just, I just slowly walked backward again. I had to sprint off. And this is where I usually end up failing. And I'm not sure if I use sprint or not. I'm going to go ahead and use sprint. And I'm just going to walk off. We'll see if I can catch that ledge right there. Nice. And the Datacron is right there, right below us. So I'm going to turn off Sprint one more time and just kind of edge over there. Try to get lined up with it. And you can see that pipe. I'm not quite lined up with it yet. Alright, so with Sprint off, I'm going to try to... Actually, you know what? I'm going to turn it on. I want to land on that pole right there. Okay, I just walked. I didn't jump. I didn't do anything. Alright, yeah, if you fail that jump from that high of a level, you will end up dying. And that's that's a little bit frustrating to have to walk all the way back, so be careful on that. Okay, so the easiest way to get here is this speeder right here. On the main map, it would be this one right here. So go from this speeder to this one. Follow the road. That's where we're at right now. You can see the stairs right there, and there's a... I don't even know what that would be, underground base, I guess. You got a green flag type thing right there. And just jump up here. And that road right there, that's what you're looking for. There's a chest right there, I'm not going to bother with it. And when you get here, that's where it's at on the map, right there. Alright, so we are standing right outside the Balmorian Arms Factory, and on the main map, if you start here at the spaceport, take the speeder all the way down to this speeder right here, and you're in for a long trip, I recommend having your, um, your teleport option available so you can get back, because there are no other speeders through here. So, again, hit this speeder, long journey all the way through here, and hard to see, but uh, you'll cross the flatlands right around here. And you'll come to the building that we're at right now. We'll walk inside. Right here.
Invasion of Balmora. Alright, so here we are on the map. If you're at Sorbrick, which is where you start out at, again, this is the only speeder that you have available to you. It's going to be a long trip. I'm sorry, this speeder right here is the only speeder that you're going to have available as close as we are. So, wait, hang on. Okay. Yep, that speeder right there. You're going to want to travel from Sorbrick to that speeder right there. You're going to make a long walk all the way over here, and in here is the Droid Arms Factory. And if you've been watching, I already have a map opened up. Eventually, you're going to go through there, go upstairs, up an elevator. You're going to come out. You'll be right about there. Come over here to where we're at right now. And we are looking for a Datacron. It better be over here. I can hear it. There it is. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up the map so that everybody knows where we're at. Okay, so we are. There's the Sorbrick. There's the last speeder that you're going to have contact with. you got to go through all of that, through the arms factory, upstairs, through the elevator, out this little point right here to where we're at right now. And I should have pictures of that in the previous clips if you're watching that. Look for this little tower right here. I can't even get on there, I fell so bad. And what you're looking for is this open space right here, and I've got them targeted, that colicoid, that was a mutated colicoid, and uh, they have a long respawn timer from what I was reading. I didn't actually stand here and uh, do it myself, and I do apologize, this is very dark. Um, the whole goal is to jump up into here and get just high enough up here that we can send our pet to attack it. Since I already have them targeted, I'm going to try it from here, but I don't think it's going to work. I'll go ahead and send her in. Yeah, it's not going to work from here. Brief interruption. I was having a whole lot of problems with um, my companion on this. Piece of advice. If you're going to do this, do not call out your companion until you actually get on the rock where you're supposed to be. Uh, I was getting in combat and then having to run back and forth, de-summon her. So I did end up butchering this video quite a bit, but uh, you'll see it here in a second whenever I get positioned. Um, while we're waiting for that to happen, there's also one other thing I wanted to bring up, which is um, I did not get kill credit for this, but I wanted to leave this up there so when I actually do go back and figure out what was wrong, you guys will be able to know what I did. And I don't know if it was because I targeted a soldier instead of a worker or what happened, but that is a mutated colicoid soldier right there and I think maybe we needed the worker instead anyways we're getting very close to the point right there that's the ledge that you want to be standing on and again don't call out your pet until you get on that ledge where I'm standing and uh, summon her right there where I'm standing on that ledge and you'll see here in just a few seconds that's what I end up doing I summon her and then I send her in on that colicoid and she actually she'll jump up over that ledge and get that colicoid so I will go ahead and let Scully resume the rain from here on out thanks guys and have a good one come on bring it you can see I'm just it's really hard to see but there's a little bitty ledge right here and it took me a couple of trips to get there And if you are at Sobrick, you want to go all the way over here, and the building is right here. Easy way to find it is there's a gardens. He would do that. This day. He's a junk. It's right outside these gardens. Come in here, there's usually some mobs. We've already cleared those out. And there's one guy right here. He's 
just need some force chokes since I'm low on health. Interrupt that. And here's our lore object. Imperial subjugation. And I can see it, so I'll go ahead and bring it up on the map. And what you want to do, if you start out at Zorbrick, you probably want to go either here or here. I recommend here if you're starting at Zorbrick. And just follow the path all the way up to where we're at right now. And you can see it right there, so we'll go ahead and get to it. And I think I'll go ahead and kill this guy as well. And again, watch out for this poison water right there. There you have it. Alright, surely I'm far enough away. Nice. From Sorbrick, there is a speeder up here in the uh, Farnell Research Facility. I wanted to go ahead and narrate this. I opened up the map and showed you guys where the speeder is located that I'm at. And all I'm going to be doing is running east along this riverbed, which you can see me doing right here. I'm looking for a vendor which sells an item to open up a lockbox which has a datacron inside of it. And you're going to have to have that uh, item in order to be able to access the datacron, which I'm going to show you here in the next clip. And don't worry, I will slow down and open up the map and show you every stage that I took. I won't leave you guys hanging like that. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and hand over the reins to Scully where we actually buy the part. Hope you guys enjoy. And the vendor is actually right over here. You're looking for this junk vendor right here. And on the map that is right here. Alright, it's got me curious. What is it? Locked. No idea what that is. If you know what that is, post up there. I want to know. You see anything you like? Just let me know. And what we are looking for is... I think it's this. I don't want to give wrong information. Come back anytime. Let me wiki that real quick and I'll bring you guys right back. Okay, I'm back. Do not buy this one right here. It's this one. The lost code cylinder. That you... Whoa. Do I actually have to... Okay. You can tell I haven't bought anything in a while. Okay, lost code cylinder. Right click it one time. Come back any time. And that is the the um, object that we're going to need to be able to open up the Datacron. It's one of those things that you have to work with. And that right there is the the Datacron spare chest. I guess I'll pull, pull it up on the map. There's a, a bridge right here and it's cut in half. So you're going to come from the speeder. Actually, it would have been the vendor, which was somewhere over here. And uh, just follow the path all the way around, however you can get there. And you're going to be on the, the north side of the bridge. It's the only, only place you can access it. And I'll go ahead and see if anybody else needs it. Alright, let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, we used the key. We have the Datacron. There we go. Yeah, make sure you uh, actually click on the Datacron. Don't just open the chest, which I almost got ready to leave. Plus two to mastery.